Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel and March is finally upon us here in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The green grass has finally returned for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere and summer will be disappearing for those in the South. March marks the anniversary of the game and although it's the month that many people started playing the game in, there are lots of fun changes and updates happening throughout the month that you'll want to know about. In this video, I'll be going over 7 changes and updates happening throughout March in Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're excited for this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing content. Number 1. New Scenery Although I made a longer, more in-depth video about all of the changes you can expect to see throughout the course of spring itself, I had to mention here in this video that for the Northern Hemisphere players, spring is finally in full swing here in March, and that the grass will get greener and greener as the days progress. Since the snow has stopped, you can also enjoy rain once more and thunderstorms too. For some of you who have just started playing the game, you might have never experienced this, so I really hope you'll enjoy it and enjoy seeing all of your villagers in cute raincoats as much as I do. Sadly, this does mean no more auroras, but I've always enjoyed spring more personally, so I'm happy that it's sprung. In the southern hemisphere, it's officially autumn, and although it isn't properly orange yet, there's about to be a whole ton of really great items that you can collect, and new scenery to enjoy thanks to the autumn season. I personally think autumn is really pretty in Animal Crossing New Horizons, they did such a good job of it, and they really did bring out a ton of new items for the autumn season. So guys, in the southern hemisphere, I hope you have a nice trip, and I'll see you next fall. Number 2, Mario Items Available A lot of you have been asking me and wondering when the brand new Mario items will actually be available in your game and how to get them. Well, March is the answer. From March the 1st, you can visit your Nook Shopping app or the machine in Resident Services and access the Promotional tab. Don't worry if you don't have it already, it'll pop up when you can get a hold of these new items. There are a whole ton of brand new Mario items to purchase, and of course the amazing new pipe feature which you can basically use to teleport all around the island, including into your home. You can even put a pipe into a villager's home, but sadly you can't actually warp into the villager's house, which is a bit of a bummer, but you know, it kind of makes sense. These items are a must-have for any Mario fan, but honestly, I love using these mushroom platforms all around my island, even though I don't have a Mario theme. There's something here for everyone I feel, but if you're not happy with any of these items then don't worry, as March introduces a bunch more items that hopefully you'll enjoy. Where are you guys going to set up your pipes? Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. Number 3, Shamrock Day. Usually happening on the 17th of March to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in the real world, this time Shamrock Day is happening from March 10th to March 17th. I plan to make a longer video on this event near the time, but there are some things that I wanted to mention right now in this video. First of all, during this time period there'll be free brand new seasonal items to buy in Nook Shopping to help you enjoy the event, which are the Shamrock Door Plate, Shamrock Rug, and Shamrock Soda. I think all of these new items are honestly really cool, and especially the Shamrock Soda, which is another holdable item in the game, and it works as a really cool accessory. You'll also be able to buy 4 new clothing items to celebrate the occasion. These are the Shamrock Hat, Shamrock Shoes, Shamrock Suit, and Shamrock Glasses. Make sure you head to the Able Sisters during this time period so you can go and get them and add these new clothing items to your catalogue. They honestly look all really cool and I want them now. Finally, you'll be able to get a brand new DIY recipe introduced in the latest update for this event, which is the Shamrock Wand. Sorry to tell you, but you're going to have to pop balloons to get this one, which some players might find tricky to do. It might take a little while, but I definitely think it's worth it to get a hold of this new DIY which presumably will disappear until next Shamrock Day. How will you be celebrating the event? Let me know in the comments section down below. Number 4. Other Seasonal Items If you thought Shamrock Day items were the only new seasonal items available, don't worry as there's even more for you to enjoy throughout the month. Right now, you can get two new items for the Hinamatsuri Festival, which is celebrated in Japan. You have until the 3rd of March to get these, so be as quick as you can as they won't be around for long. 
from March 1st to March 14th, you'll be able to purchase the Pi Day Pi to celebrate Pi Day, which happens every year on March 14th. It's a bit of an unusual item for Animal Crossing, but it's still cool to see all the same and I love having more food items in the game, so tuck into these new items before they disappear from the seasonal items menu. Number 5, Sanrio Update. On March 18th, for the first time ever, you'll be able to collect new Sanrio themed items and invite Sanrio villagers to live on your island in Animal Crossing New Horizons, with a total of 6 new villagers to meet. This is a part of an update happening on this date in March, and it's definitely a really exciting one. I've already made videos on this update and gone over most of the details, so I'll keep it brief here, but I definitely wanted to mention that this update is going to be a big part of many players' experience in March. If you can get a hold of these Sanrio cards, you should have a lot of fun enjoying all of this new content. Getting new items in the game is always really great, and I'm sure people are going to trade them online, so even if you don't have the amiibo cards, I'm sure you'll still be able to enjoy these new items all the same. Either way, I'm really looking forward to it, and I love that we're still getting some interesting updates here in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number 6. New Bugs, Fish and Creatures Northern and Southern Hemisphere players can once again enjoy catching some new critters this month. If you've been playing since last year, it's very possible that you might have already caught everything by now, and if so, kudos to you. For those who are still looking to complete their Critopedia, let's take a look at what's new and what is leaving this March. For Northern Hemisphere players, a bunch of new bugs will become available for the first time in a while. These are the Yellow Butterfly, Tiger Butterfly, Peacock Butterfly, Mantis, Orchid Mantis, Honey Bee, Stink Bug, Man Face Stink Bug, and the Ladybird. The Emperor Butterfly will be leaving, so catch it whilst you can. Southern Hemisphere players also have a bunch of new bugs, being the Common Butterfly, Yellow Butterfly, Monarch Butterfly, Cricket, Bell Cricket, Red Dragonfly, Violin Beetle, Pill Bug, and the Centipede. A whole bunch of bugs will also be leaving this March for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, which are the Tiger Butterfly, Emperor Butterfly, Agrius Butterfly, Raja Brooks Birdwing, Queen Alexandra's Birdwing, Atlas Moth, Madagascan Sunset Moth, Grasshopper, Walker Cicada, Pond Skater, Diving Beetle, Giant Water Bug, Rosalia Battersea Beetle, Earth Boring Dung Beetle, Goliath Beetle, Rainbow Stag, Walking Leaf, and the Mosquito. Now on to fish. Northern Hemisphere players can now catch the Tadpole, Loach, Cherry Salmon, Char, Golden Trout, and the Barred Knife Jaw. The Bitterling, Yellow Perch, Stringfish, Sturgeon, Sea Butterfly, and Football Fish will all be leaving in March though. Southern Hemisphere players can enjoy quite a few new fish, which are the Pike, Cherry Salmon, Char, Golden Trout, Salmon, King Salmon, Mitten Crab, and Sturgeon. But sorry to say, a ton of fish are leaving you guys in March, which are the Crawfish, Softshell Turtle, Sweetfish, Salmon, King Salmon, Nibblefish, Piranha, Arowana, Dorado, Gar, Arapaima, Saddled Birchier, Clownfish, Surgeonfish, Butterflyfish, Pufferfish, Blue Marlin, Ocean Sunfish, Saw Shark, Hammerhead Shark, Great White Shark, Whale Shark, and the Suckerfish. Better head out there now and catch those fish before they disappear, especially the sharks which are worth a ton of bells. Now let's look at sea creatures. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, you can dive for the Turban Shell, Chambered Nautilus, Umbrella Octopus, Firefly Squid, and the Spider Crab. The Red King Crab will be leaving though. Hey King, you dropped this. Southern players can enjoy these new sea critters which are the Oyster, Turban Shell, Chambered Nautilus, Umbrella Octopus, and the Sweet Shrimp. Once again, a bunch of these guys will be leaving though. The Sea Grapes, Sea Urchin, Slate Pencil Urchin, Moon Jellyfish, Giga's Giant Clam, Tiger Prawn, Horseshoe Crab, and the Flatworm will all be leaving. So put on that wetsuit and jump in those seas for a chance to catch these guys before they disappear. Honestly, every time I go over all of these, I basically learn that new things even exist in the game, so it's doing me a favor too. Number 7, The Anniversary. 
March 20th is the one year anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons. We don't quite know yet what Nintendo has planned for the anniversary, if anything at all, but given that they did some major anniversary updates for Pocket Camp, it's entirely possible that they could do something similar in this game, or perhaps something smaller for New Horizons. Do you guys think we're going to see anniversary updates? Or will Nintendo just focus on adding the Sanrio characters later in March? Let me know your thoughts down below. I certainly think it would be disappointing though if Nintendo decided to skip this anniversary and didn't make a big fuss for it because there is so much that they could do and I really think that's what fans need to get excited. And those are 7 changes and updates happening this March in Animal Crossing New Horizons for both Northern and Southern Hemisphere players. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. And make sure to turn on those channel notifications so you can get notified every time I post new Animal Crossing content. If you want to help support me and my channel, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to become a channel member and a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a whole bunch of really cool perks for doing so, such as exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and posts, and so much more, so be sure to check that out.